You need a USB drive or DVDs to create the recovery media, a solid state drive, a SATA cable to connect the solid state drive to the motherboard, four M3 screws for the SSD, and a screwdriver in order to add the SSD onto the HP Pavilion Power Desktop. The first step is creating a recovery media using the HP Recovery Manager. From the Start menu, search for HP Recovery Manager, and when it opens, select Create Recovery Media. And follow the on-screen instructions to create the recovery media on a USB drive or DVDs. Remember that you can only create one recovery media. And unfortunately, since I already created recovery media before making this video, I cannot show you the steps on following the on-screen instructions. The second step is physically installing the SSD. Grab your solid state drive, four screws, and screwdriver to secure the SSD onto the computer body. And since I covered this in my last video, I will fast forward through this part. And be sure to grab the SATA power cable from the power supply unit and connect it to the SSD. And now what I'm going to do is cheat to make this process a little less confusing. I will unplug the SATA cable from the hard drive so the hard drive is no longer connected to the motherboard and plug it into the SSD instead. So now the SSD is plugged into the motherboard instead of the original hard drive through the SATA cable. And now we can move on to the step three. Step three is loading the recovery image onto SSD using the HP Recovery Manager. Plug in the recovery media USB that we created in step one and power on the computer. Keep pressing the escape key on the keyboard until startup menu pops up. Then press F11 key to go to system recovery. And from this screen, go down and select Troubleshoot, and then select Recovery Manager. And once it pops up, select System Recovery under Help. Then we will select Recover without backing up your files, and click Next, and click Next again. And now it's just a long and tedious process of waiting. This process takes about an hour and the computer will turn on and off multiple times on its own, so don't panic. So what it's doing right now is installing the original operating system and all the hardware drivers and software that came with your desktop onto SSD. But note that using the HP Recovery Media is like doing a factory reset. The recovery media does not contain the software or files that you may have installed on the computer after you purchased it. So now the recovery is complete. Click finish and the computer will automatically reboot and we will hear Cortana and we can go through the Windows setup process. So I will fast forward through this part, but after this part, your solid state drive is ready to be used. So for step four, let's finish up the hardware installation. We unplug the SATA cable from the SSD and plug it back into the original hard drive. And SATA power cable should already be connected to the SSD, but I'm just showing this again to assure you that there's an extra SATA power connector for the second hard drive. Now grab the extra SATA cable and plug one end to the SSD. And then you will see that there's an one SATA port open and we will plug the other end to that one. And now both the hard drive and the SSD are connected to the motherboard. For step five, we're going to change the boot order on BIOS. Restart your computer and hit the escape key until the startup menu pops up. From here, hit the F10 key on your keyboard to go to BIOS setup and then go to storage, boot order, and then we're going to move the Samsung SSD onto the top using up arrow keys and enter to drop and F10 to accept. 
And then we'll go to File, and then Save Changes and Exit. And we'll confirm Yes. And then your computer will restart, and it'll boot from the SSD. And finally, you can optionally choose to format the hard drive and use it for storage. So I confirm that my F drive is the one terabyte hard drive. So I'm going to right click again and go to format. And from here, I'm going to leave everything the same, but I will change the volume label to something that'll tell me that it's just a storage device. So I'm changing it to storage. Um, make sure the quick format's checked and I click start. And then we will say OK. And then I will say that we should just go ahead and format the F drive. So for me, the one terabyte hard drive was the F drive, but for you, it might be different. So before you format, always make sure to confirm that you have the correct hard drive selected. Now uh, you have almost one terabyte of storage and everything's wiped from the F drive. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.